life was being cut short by a neuromuscular disease. In spite of that, Maddie chose to live to the very end and even had a hand in his own funeral. He helped plan it. MDA has put together a beautiful video montage of my son's celebration of passing from life into death. And it's difficult to watch, but I think it's very important to watch because it reminds us of the legacy that Maddie left, of the essence of his echo, of his mission for hope and peace and his belief in a cure. And I know he's with his brothers and sister, Katie, Stevie, and Jamie, and with his creator, watching this show, and this show's from him. Love you, Maddie. If they would find a cure when I'm a kid, I could ride a bike and sail on rollerblades, and I could go on really long nature hikes. cure when I'm a teenager. I could earn my license and drive a car and I could dance every dance at my senior prom. If they would find a cure when I'm a young adult, I could travel around the world and teach peace and I could marry and have children of my own. pictures of my grandchildren. If they would find a cure when I'm alive, I could live each day without pain and machines, and I could celebrate the biggest thank you of life ever. of resurrection, a mass of celebration. We believe Maddie is one with God and one also with his older siblings, with Jamie and Stevie and Katie. And we celebrate and believe that he's going home with his God forever. Today, let's celebrate well believe that a good young boy, a really special young man, has gone home to his God. We need to notice, just notice, notice for a moment before future slips away into ashes and dust of your beauty. Maddie is gone, and so is my spirit. A piece of my heart feels gone as well. How do we fill that void? How do we tell our emotional system it will recover? Maybe it will, but it will never be the same. How do we go on without Maddie's presence? We have to. And we'll probably be all right if we carry what Maddie was and what he believed the world was all about. If we follow his understanding about life and love, we can't go wrong. It's not often that we find people in our lives who create magic. I found him to be magical. 
I could not believe so much wisdom, so much power, so much grace, so much strength and love could come from one 10-year-old little boy. And we have known uh, kings and queens. And we've known presidents and prime ministers. But the most extraordinary person whom I have ever known in my life is Maddie Smith Bynum. But Maddie's legacy is forever. Because his heart songs were resume in the hearts of people forever. We need to be just be If they would find a cure when I'm buried into heaven, I could still celebrate with my brothers and sister there, and I could still be happy knowing that I was a part of the effort.